Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at a new RTA from Ambition Mods. Now these guys, they did the, the C-Roll RDA uh, last year and I was quite the fan of it. I think it was their first RDA and um, it was my favourite budget RDA for the year. Uh, they then did uh, the Spiral RDA which was a mouth to lung RDA. Once again, that was really good. And this time, this is the GATE RTA, and this is a mouth-to-lung RTA. Now, the the thing about this, and that's sitting on the, the Smuggler, it's in 18350 mode just now. Uh, the thing about this is, and I've harped on about this a lot in the past, is that um, when you change the airflow, so when you change the AFC in the outside of a tank, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. What you really want to change is the size of the hole underneath the coil. This you can do, but you can do it on the fly. You do not have to remove the coil. You do not have to, have to do anything like that. You can actually just pull out an insert, put a new insert in, and you can change between a 0.8 millimeter hole or a 1.5 millimeter hole underneath the coil. It's actually very clever. It's all got, also got a juice flow control, it is top fill, and it's 30 pounds, it comes in stainless steel and black. It's a good mouth to lung RTA this. It's not perfect, as always. There's not many things that are perfect these days, uh, but uh, I'll cover all that in the close-ups and uh, the summary at the end. So this is the box that it comes in, and uh, you in the UK you get a 2 milliliter version. There is also a 3.5 milliliter version available as well. Open up the box and you'll find your RTA. In the bottom of the box you are going to find one tool, you will find spare O-rings, uh, spare screws, and you will also find your other reducer. Now this is the, the 2 mil one that I'm going to show you just now, but I also have the 3 mil version here, and you can see the difference in size. This is a 22mm RTA and the height is 52.8mm but that's from the top of the drip tip all the way down to the 510. So let's start with the basics on this. So you do get a little palm drip tip on this one. It is a 510 drip tip. Pulls out there no problem. If you want to fill this, it is, is very like the skyline in this respect. So you're undoing this ring here and that just pulls off. And then you're going to pull this and there you go. So you're filling through those kidney holes. Uh, so that's it. Uh, you just pop this back on, pop your ring on, and that's you done. You also have a juice flow control, and you you know once again it's kind of like the skyline. It's a different mechanism inside, but uh, you know you're going to spin this section here, and you can see down the bottom how everything is moving here. So that's me closed off, and that's me opened up the juice flow control. But I'll, I'll give you a better look at that in a second. We do have airflow down the bottom here, so you can have it fully open like this. Or if I spin this round, you can take it round to air holes like this, and you can close them off and have one, two, or three open. Turning it down to the bottom, we then have the, the atty name, and we have a serial number. But uh, this is the interesting bit. So if you grab your tool, and then just pop this in here, so I'm going to unscrew this from here. So I'm taking this 510 right out. Out she comes. And then using my little tool here again, just pop this in here. And this just unscrews like that. So hopefully you can see here, we've got a 1.5mm air hole there, and we've got a 0.8mm air hole here. But I'm going to stick with the 1.5 and just screw this back in here. Get my little tool, oh, wrong side, and then just tighten that in there. Throw this in the bottom of the RTA, make sure that you've got your little uh, peak insulator on there, and then screw this down. And once again, you're doing this on the fly. It's not like you're having to take your coil out. It doesn't affect anything else. You can just do it like that. Now, if you want to access your deck, you're just going to unscrew the base like this, and out it comes. You do have a glass tank here. It doesn't come with a spare glass tank. That would have been a nice uh, to have, but um, yeah, you don't have a spare glass tank. Uh, there's your chamber inside here, and hopefully you can now see, see how I'm spinning? I'm just spinning this bit here, and that is moving this section about. It's going to adjust your juice flow control. So yes, you can turn it right off. The deck is, um, <laughs> 
do you know, I, I have no real issues with the deck. I can get, and, and I've got a Starbucks coffee stirrer here for some reason, but uh, yeah, you can see there's your air hole there, and that's the 1.5 that I've got in just now. Uh, you've got your screws here, and you know, the wire is going to get trapped really, really well in here. Uh, I have got a, a little fuse clapton from PC Coils in my other one, and I'll do the same with this. Uh, you've got these wells here on either side, and the juice is going to come through these holes here. So using the supply tool, I'm just going to back these off. There really is nothing you have to watch out for. I mean, this is a two and a half millimeter inner diameter coil. Uh, fuse clapton is an NI80, and once again, it's from PC Coils. And this literally just, I'm making sure that uh, my coil is facing down. So legs are up on this one, coil in, and then I'll just tighten these back down. So coil screwed down, and you can see the position that I have this here. Now, I really think, and this is my personal opinion, I really think a 2.5 inner diameter works the best on this. That way the air is going to get past the coil. If you try squeezing in a three millimeter inner diameter on this mouth to lung RTA, I just don't think it's going to work that well. I'm not saying you can't do it, but I just don't think it'll work that well. Now all I've done is I cut the cotton to the outside edge and then I've cut the cotton up at a 45 degree angle. It's just the way I like to build on these RTAs sometimes, uh, especially when the cotton has to come down quite a bit to get to the well and then just poke it in there. And that's what works for me. And you can see the cotton just poking in there and literally you're just going to, you know, prime the cotton and then uh, we're going to put some juice in. Now the only thing I would say is when you're putting juice in your tank is make sure that you, you remember you're turning this bit here, not the this ring here, but just below the drip tip. So you're turning this and you're going to close off your juice flow control. So just close your juice flow control off. And once again, just undo this ring here, fill her up through there, pop that back down, screw this back on. I would then suggest turning your tank upside down and then opening up your juice flow control, that will release any pressure or air in there, and then you're good to go. Now the only thing I will say here just now is that um, sometimes you this ring here, please don't screw this down tight. Uh, just till it even looks like it's in place. It just needs to be as tight as that. Uh, it can bind some, I've found that it can bind if you just give it a little twist too much so so be careful with that the reason you have to be careful is that um, the tank spins see how this whole thing's spinning here uh, that that's my tank it's like it's not down tight everything isn't down tight and it's not holding the tank in place it's the same with the other one as well that the glass does spin and it does mean you know if you hold the tank and you're trying to undo this section here it's very easy for the whole thing to just unscrew and come apart because this is spinning. But uh, that really is, and I'll cover this at the end, that that really is my main negative with this whole device. But everything else is pretty much as you see it. Now, as always, is uh, taking the price out of the equation. Uh, this is a very good mouth to lung RTA. Yes, it looks like a couple of other RTAs, but then again, what doesn't these days? And and yes, it does have the you know the top cap, the fill system. It's kind of similar to the Skyline, but uh, yeah, I've seen that at other places as well. But the you know the the juice flow control mechanism is completely different. I do not believe this is a clone. Before people start getting on at me, it's just a good RTA. That's as simple as that. I could go into pros and cons and start rambling on, but. Here we go, we'll have a vape. This is the 1.5 and I've got the airflow. This is everything turned up max. That, that's, um, that's a mouth to lung. That's, that's just, ver that's on the kind of loosish mouth to lung. Um, but I can turn that airflow down and I can also change it out to a 0.8 mil air hole underneath the coil. You, if you like mouth to lung land from 0.8 to 1.5, this ticks every box. This will make you happy. The other thing to point out is that the, the adapter, the 0.8 or the 1.5, it doesn't mean you're going to get liquid coming out of that 510. It doesn't work like that. Uh, it's just, it's, it's a clever little design uh, and it's, uh, it's a unique selling point for this RTA and the deck is 
Very, very easy to build on. 2.5 millimeter inner diameter coil. Works a treat. That was a little PC coil, uh, fuse clapton. When you get so many RTAs and RDAs to show off, every once in a while you do get one that um, is just, if I had 30 pound burning a hole in my pocket and I wanted a mouth to lung RTA, I'd go and buy this. <laughs> I just would. Uh, the only negative I can give you is that the, the glass will spin. The glass in the middle is, I mean, that's just twisting that round there. That's that's spinning. I just, that, that bugs me. And I've tried tightening everything up and whatnot, and it doesn't seem to make any difference. It doesn't leak or any, anything like that, but it just, yeah, it can mean sometimes if you're trying to get the, the fill, you know, this bit here, unscrew that. If you've just tightened it up too much, it can be a bit of a pain undoing everything but it's a minor niggle it's a minor niggle uh, I'm gonna have another vape that's um, the wicking works very well uh, that's me I'm on a 70 VG there just now if you were going for a, a heavier PG then you would just put more cotton into the wells the flavor is <laughs> as good as anything I've come across recently uh, and Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up on this one. I, I have no negatives for you outside what I've said already. The positives are that it's quite a bonny looking tank uh, and I'll leave it at that. There are far worse things you can buy for £30 in the vape world than buying one of these. It's simple as that. And that is a three for three from Ambition Mods. Uh, that's uh, the third thing they've sent me that is once again is priced very very well it's it's i would consider this to be very cheap and and it holds its head high when it comes to comparing it to things that cost far far more and i'll stop there guys as always thank you so much for watching and until next time bye for now i'm going to drop this in here um this little segment here first of all i will say thank you to dennis uh, i have just finished doing a live stream on my facebook page or group and uh, young Dennis asked me a question about the the gate and he said what if you don't use any of the reducers in it so don't use the 1.5 don't use the 0 0.8 can you do direct lung so um, I now have the airflow here I don't have a reducer in it and I, I'm watch this Restricted direct lung. It's bloody great. That is a that is a a nice restricted direct lung. That opens up a whole other can of worms. That that, that makes this a much more attractive RTA because you're going from and and I should have measured. Ah, damn it! Hang on. I'm just taking the 510 out again. I'm getting my calipers. So you're going, um, sorry, that's the fish fan. It's Friday. Um, so you're going from a 0 0.8 mil reducer, 1.5 mil reducer, up to, if you want, 2.7 millimeters. Uh, that's fantastic. Uh, this, this goes even higher uh, than a two thumbs up. It can't go any better than a two thumbs up. Uh, but uh, yes, I, I stand by whatever I said yesterday. I really, really like this RTA.